prestigious Hyatt Regency Hotel in the heart of London played host to the United Kingdom leg of the 75th and 70th birthday celebration of Chief and Chief Mrs. Alex Dudiemi, the Ashiwaju and Yeye Ashiwaju of Ileife, the source. A perfect blend of blue with a dash of white was the colour theme chosen for the big event. Unlike the very elaborate celebration that formally ushered Chief Alex Duduyemi into the Septuagenarian League five years ago, which incidentally took place in London, this time around, the Duduyemis decided to have a low-key event for between 250 guests. It was indeed a tough call for the organisers to be able to work around this stipulated number considering the wide connections of friends and well-wishers of the Duduyemis that are always present at any Duduyemi function, whether at home in Nigeria or anywhere abroad. The guests turned up from diverse parts of Nigeria, the North, East, Niger Delta, Southwest, and even beyond the shores of Nigeria, to further demonstrate that friendship for the Duduyemis knows no boundary of colour or race. At the head of the select and august guests that attended the event was His Royal Majesty, the Alake of Egbaland, Oba Adedotun Gwadebo, the National Security Advisor, retired Lieutenant Aliyu Guzo, Senator Ben Obi, Chief Mrs. Margaret Shinekon, among others. The birthday dinner was preceded by the cocktails which afforded the guests the opportunity of mingling among one another establish acquaintances and share brotherhood. The event proper began in earnest in that atmosphere of conviviality and joy already established at the pre-dinner cocktail. With music in the background and the celebrants welcomed formally to the event with a rousing applause by all. Without much ado, Master of Ceremonies Extraordinaire, Multilingual Broadcaster and Showbiz Impresario B.C. Olatilo quickly set the scene with the introduction of some guests. To invoke the presence of the Almighty God at the event, Pastor Bowo Olatero Olagbegi, who preaches in London, presided over the opening prayers with everyone on their feet to receive the blessings. Following quickly at the heels of that was the opening remarks of the Chairman of the Occasion, His Royal Majesty, the Alake of Egbaland, Oba Adedotun Badibo. The respected monarch spoke glowingly about the Duduyemis, signposting the great strides of Chief Alex Duduyemi in the development of education and other spheres of the economy of Nigeria. Oba Badibo remarked that the greatest asset of Chief Duduyemi is his legendary humility and enormous generosity which he advised upcoming Nigerians to try and emulate. Obagwadebo also praised Chief Mrs. Olushala Alex Duduyemi, also celebrating her 70th birthday anniversary, for her dedication and love towards Ashiwaju Alex Duduyemi for almost 50 years, which has resulted in the huge success the marriage has recorded in every front. Chief Alex Duduyemi, is somebody you refer to as, and it's only fair, you know, somebody who wants the progress of other people. I know many of his friends and relations who have been given employment by him. He doesn't just give them handouts, no. He tells them how to fish shows them how to fish, and they are doing very well under him. Uh, this is a man who cannot be regarded as uh, somebody who will block the progress of others. When you are making progress, he is very happy to even assist you further. He is somebody who cannot say no to someone who is in need when he is in a position to help that person. And that is where my respect for him, particularly at the Yoruba Tennis Club, knew no bounds. 
In his tribute to the Dudu Yamis, whom he said have since adopted him as their son, Ovation publisher Dele Momodu was full of praises for the family, who can best be described as benevolent, caring, and loving. Dele Momodu said that Chief Dudu Yemi's rare and uncommon kindness towards him, when all hopes seem to have been lost, is the reason why Ovation is still standing till today. As KBSC has prayed, they will live to be 100. And by the grace of God, all of us will be present on that occasion. <laughs> their children and their children's children will never suffer. And you will fall. And you will fall. And you shall relate to the city. You will never marry you. As for Chief Olu Falomo, his testimony was more of an excursion into Chief. Alex Duduyemi's life from the very beginning when he was still struggling, concluding that his story gives an eloquent credence to the fact that, with hard work, doggedness, and absolute belief in oneself, there will be success at the end of the day. He ended by recommending the Alex Duduyemi Zero to Hero story to everyone while congratulating the celebrants for attaining 75 and 70 in good health. I will congratulate the Yashiwaju, the best lady in the world. A model housewife. One who has demonstrated that there can never be two bosses in the same ship. And is always by the side of Ashiwaju. And you can see how very progressive they are, how much they have achieved in life, how well they have brought up their children, what they have achieved, and the harmony in their home. God bless both of you. We admire you. Many of us would like to be like you. God will bless you, God will remain with you, God will abide with you. In his own tribute to the Dudu Yemis, Chief Jimmy Da Silva, the elder brother of Chief Mrs. Olushala Alex Dudu Yemi, looked at the story from the point of which the love story between the two celebrants began, and how his sister decided against the decision of the family to marry Chief Dudu Yemi. Chief Jimmy Da Silva ended by saying that, Today, with the successful turn of events, the Da Silva family is convinced without any doubt that their sister took the best decision. He congratulated both of them and prayed for their continued success in life. Ali Star Shoyode, CEO of Ben TV London, the longest running black ethnic television station in Europe, presented the special award of the most successful businessman in Nigeria and the diaspora to Chief Alex Duduyemi. This is for his singular effort in helping to grow Nigerian businesses in Europe. On behalf of Nigeria Rise, we duly present to Chief Alex Duduyemi for the growth of many Nigerian businesses, the Nigeria Arise Award for supporting the humanity, supporting Nigeria and many Nigerian businesses. The Nigeria Arise Merit for 2010. There was a presentation of a special tribute titled Stella Olushela Alex Duduyemi, This Is Your Life, which chronicled the celebrant's life from the cradle with the bumps, tumbles, and vicissitudes of life she struggled through, properly signposted. From the story, Chief Mrs. Olushala Alex Duduyemi indeed comes across as a very kind soul who maintains a closely knit relationship with her immediate and extended family members and a strong rallying point for her beloved husband's family members. On top of all of these attributes is that she maintains a close relationship with her maker. Chief Mrs. Olushala Alex Duduyemi 
is a quiet philanthropist who has a soft spot for humanity. On the occasion of her 70th birthday, her children and other grandchildren joined forces together to donate a 30-seater Toyota Coaster bus to her church, Waja Catholic Church in Surulere, Lagos. This she has once mentioned as one of her wishes for 70th birthday celebration. The grandchildren presented an album containing pictures and testimonies about the celebrant. I would like to present this um, tribute to our grandma on her 70th birthday. Okay. I want to tell you we love you and happy birthday. <laughs> Led by one of the grandchildren, Olayinka Ajose and Adeogun, all the children and grandchildren read a happy birthday song for her. Then the whole house rose to their feet to sing another birthday song for her. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. The cutting of the birthday cake was supervised by Obagbadebo, the Alaki of Egbaland. This was quickly followed by a video and photo session as the couple posed with different set of their friends. The toast to the celebrants was masterfully proposed by Basharu J.K. Randall, a chartered accountant and friend of the Dudiemis of long standing in what looked like replicating what he did exactly five years ago during Chief Duduyemi's 70th birthday, Basharu J.K. Randall was at his most humorous best, injecting interesting anecdotes and stories to garnish his story, which kept everyone on the edge of their seats. When I spoke to Yeye Ashwaju and asked her what she wanted me to say, she said, look, just tell the audience, all our guests, I want to thank them and uh, also thank the Almighty for giving me, me such a wonderful husband, a perfect husband, my soulmate, my friend, my lover, my everything. And I said, that cannot be fair. I, and I'm, I, as a general accountant, am trained to give a true and fair view. The other words, there must be minuses here and they said, no, that's nonsense. This man is my perfect husband. I say nothing more than that. End of story. But the problem was that this morning, I had a phone call from the Olori IP of the Da Silva family. And they wanted to know what I will be saying tonight. And I simulated him that I was going to say some nice things about uh, I assure you, Alex Duyemi, commend him for his wonderful achievements as an international businessman, as a lawyer, as a father, as a grandfather, husband. And he said, no, 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 no. If you do that, you will only be encouraging more and more of those Arokis to come and preach our daughters. <laughs> so, Chief, I apologize in advance. I have a long list of nice things I wanted to say about you, but I've been overruled. Actually, when uh, Chief Alex Yemi approached the Dasima family to ask for the hand of the uh, Yashwani, the Dasima family were in shock. Their response was, Mukilo Jayo, Mukilo Tiwa. We sent word to Wabalende, nobody knew of a BPM. We sent to Oroko, nobody had heard of BPM. We said, no BPM. Then somebody said, oh, his name is Alexander, maybe he's an Englishman. <laughs> As for the celebrating couple, the toast brought back fond and nostalgic memories almost half a century back. He congratulated them for holding on steadfastly to each other against all odds while wishing them the best of time ahead. Basharu J.K. Randall 
then asked everyone to rise to raise a toast to the Duduyemis. Please rise and drink with the help, prosperity, many, many more years for Ashwaju and his lovely wife so that they will continue to have the blessings of the Almighty. Amen. Amen. I have said the five, 80, 90, 100, 150. <laughs> In the celebrant response, which began with Chief Mrs. Stella Olushade Duduyemi, she expressed her profound gratitude to all those who contributed to the success of her birthday and that of her husband's. Going back memory lane, she said, in spite of the imperfections of her husband, like every mortal, she would still choose him even if she had to do so as many times as possible. Chief Mrs. Duduyemi thanked her husband for having been a worthy and caring confidant in the last 47 years. Until today, I do not give you a concrete reason. I just know that my investor will sit in. And I thank God that he has always guided me in all my decisions. And he has never failed me. So, with that, a lot of other decisions for it that I consciously took. And I was happy about it. And I don't regret anything. Chief Alex Duduyemi, whose response also doubled as the vote of thanks, said he couldn't have wished for a better wife who has given him peace of mind and unprecedented support and above all, unalloyed and undivided love. So I, I thank you very much for what you are and what you are I am a proud husband of Chief Mrs. Stella Ulusola Alexander. Ulusola has been very, very profound in her love for me and my family. I will not change that for anything. If I can lie, if I come back and look for another wife, I will seek you. And I will still marry her. As for all those who honored the Dudu Yemis, he wished them God's most abundant grace and the best in their different endeavors. The event ended on a note of dancing and singing and general conviviality as friends and well-wishers of the celebrant rejoiced with them. We join all well-meaning people across the globe to wish the Duduyemis more golden times ahead.